Hiya, it's me Donna. I'm back again with a charity shop haul. Um, I'll jump straight in with what I've got then. I've been to a few charity shops. I don't mean, I, so I'm struggling at the moment to find good stock. I'll show you what I've got first and then I'll tell you about what I'm getting. Uh, first one was it's got two pounds, oh, wrong one, two pounds, phase eight. Ooh, it's eight and it's really not, I don't know if you can see the, the pattern on this skirt. It's really quite long. I haven't done any research on anything at the moment because I've only just bought these the other day, but hopefully I'll get more than two pounds for it. Next one is this really long uh, Laura Ashley. Is that, I'm not, I don't know much about vintage. Is that a vintage logo? Can someone please let me know because I don't know, that was 3 50 really oops my feet's falling really long dress look how long it is it's all the way down um yeah if somebody can let me know if that was vintage or not i'll be very grateful in the pay shop which was really quiet for some bizarre reason i don't know but obviously this was a pound jack Burt. it's got a button missing i'm not sure it's like a jacket come thick shirt so that was a pound, so I'm pleased with that. The same, yeah, it's the same pound shop. Got another one. Uh, like a green, limey one. Really long. And that's like, looks like a wedding type top. But yeah, pleased with that for a pound. Mint velvet. This was one pound as well. Mint velvet. This is a really nice top. Quite nice. Oh uh, yeah, got that. Then shoes. Oh, that are falling. Another Jack Burt pair of shoes. I can't see the original put on some. They were four ninety nine. Oh wait, four ninety nine. But they've got the prices on there that it originally was. Hang on, let's try that way. It looked like they was in the sale for £10. I'm sure that says £95. I can't quite, I don't know if you can see. I'll have to put my glasses on. £95 for a pair of shoes. They look like they've probably been worn once. So, and this shop, I went into this shop. And they had shoes really expensive in there, next to new look and that for like five ninety nine. And these were in there for five pounds. But look at the brand, Russell and Bromley. Barely been worn. Gorgeous shoes. So whoever priced these didn't realise the brand. But like I said, the the just new look and all that were at like to me overpriced. And then I seen these amongst them, so I'm like. All right then, thank you. These these trainers, I wasn't intending to go to a charity shop, but uh, I had to go to shops on the Sundays, um, Sainsbury's, and there's a Bernardo's that's open on the Sunday next to it. So I've got these trainers for $5.99 Nike. Well, I think they're quite nice actually, but my son did turn his nose up and say they're horrible, but he's 16, so... To a 16 year old, anything that I point out is nice, he says he's horrible. So there you go. So those are what I've got. What I'm saying is, I'm struggling to find decent stock. Whether it's because I'm too picky with my brands, I don't really know because I've been around quite a few shops over the weekend and that, and some of the quality of the stuff, I'm like, that's a rag. Why isn't that in the, why have you got that for sale? It's got a stain on, it's ripped all, all in the lining. Oh, what was that coat I seen? Oh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Woman. It was a nice white uh, jacket. It looked like who'd ever had it had washed it on a hot wash. It was all mangled and all that shit. And all the seam inside was completely destroyed. It, it was unrepairable. And that was like six pound. And I'm like, who's going to buy that? It's out of shape and it's ripped. But that says, I think maybe I am too picky. With my brands, I don't know. I, I try and get higher end brands, but obviously, 
there's not many higher end brands around but that's what that's why I say this is not my full-time job this is something I do just part-time on the side which is a good job it's not my living because so far this week I've sold I think it's a Sesame Street Teddy a key ring and a next top and I've also had a pair of shoes returned so <laughs> these shoes right they were new but they were all scuffed as if somebody had stored them quite badly a few dents and that which I put on the description and basically the email I got back off the uh, the buyer was these are not new these have been worn I want to return them well they're described as new with defects see pictures blah blah so anyway, I got the quickest return in the world. I think it was, this was on the Monday and on the Wednesday they were here. But I think sometimes it's a different opinion in it because I opened the box and to me they look exactly the same as they went. Not used, just a few dents. But I said to Liam, my husband, do these look used to you? And he was like, yeah. I said, okay. I said, really? He said, yeah, they look used. So... Obviously, I'm going to have to <laughs> be aware of that. I have to ask if it, if I'm unsure. I have to ask him. But to me, they did not look used at all. They sit down the bottom. They were like completely clear. There was not a mark on them. They just had a few dents, a few dents on the actual shoes, as if like you know when people store stuff and they're on top of each other. But because the bias in that, even though it was photographed and described. And Liam's in that. He straight away just said used. So I've relisted them and I've put them as used. Although I still don't personally believe they're used because there's not a mark on them as in dirt. That was another thing she described them as dirty soles. It was not dirty. I've never... Listen to me ranting. I've never sent a dirty pair of shoes out ever. I always clean shoes. Even if they don't need it, they're getting a wipe whether they want it or not. So that was a bit annoying. But there you go. So another thing I've been doing... You know when you know you shouldn't buy something because it doesn't suit you, but you think, I'm going to buy them. I've been having a little shopping spree myself on eBay. I thought, I'm going to try and buy a few dresses, try some dresses on. I ain't try. I don't wear dresses. Very, 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 very rare I wear a dress. But I thought, I'm going to buy myself some. Treat myself. Now, I can't be bothered to return stuff. I just don't return stuff at all. I just... If I don't like it, I'll give it to somebody else or resell. So I'm going to resell these dresses, which I'll show you. So this one, I don't know why. I think it then cost me about four quid each. It probably cost me more posts. Do is it's misguided. So this is going to be online soon. I don't even know how much I'm going to. It's shorter than I thought. <laughs> I think you'd have to wait for a pair of leggings. It's a lovely dress. Tried it on. It looks bloody awful. It really does. I think you've got to be a certain body shape, and I ain't that body shape. And this one as well. Pa Papia or something, isn't that Matalan? I don't know. I didn't buy them for the brands. I bought them because I like the look of them. So this will be online as well later. It's like, oh, I get stuck it in. Like a coral type colour. Again, gorgeous dress, but does not suit. So a bit pissed off about that one as well, because I thought out of all of them, that one would look nice, but nope. So this one as well, Top Shop. Top Shop. Again, lovely dress. Not on me. Right, look, it's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. I just can't wear it. I really got it. I got it, you know, when you get excited about parcels. And then this one, at first I tried it on back to front. I thought that was the front. <laughs> it's not. I think mean, that's the front. It's like a green J colour. Apparently that was originally £35. I think I paid about £4 for it. I like I said, I think the postage cost me more than the items. Brand new, like you say, but well like I say, like you see. Say what you see. Again, looks absolutely awful. And this one, which weighs a bloody ton, it's really heavy. This was new without tag to Marks and Spencers. You can tell it's new. It's so heavy. Gorgeous dress. Looks bloody awful. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a body can dress. It's a size 14, but it's it's too clingy. Uh, so I might describe that as a small 14, perhaps a 12, because it's just too clingy for me. 
gorgeous dress so I ain't gonna send them I don't bother sending stuff back unless it's something really expensive for a couple of quid it ain't worth it I might as well just sell it on if I just get my money back I'm happy with that so that's my haul not a lot I'm off out in a bit but until before I go out I've got a phone with wait, let me see them I've got a phone Amazon because I'm having problems with Amazon I might do a separate video on that because my Amazon Seller Central app is decided it's not working for me anymore. I've made several phone calls to them and still nothing's happened. So I'm going to be phoning Amazon. I've got to phone British Gas because they've annoyed me as well. So they'll be getting a call. Top Cash Back. And there's somebody else I've got to phone. So I'm going to be um, ranting at a few people today. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll try and be polite, but... When it's like your fifth phone call and you're not getting anywhere. Anyway, so that's totally off topic. But, oh yeah, what else did I bought? I was in the charity shop and I don't know why I bought this. It was a quid. I could not get the internet on my phone. But for some reason, I, I thought this was worth something. I don't know whether I've seen another video on YouTube about it or whether I just imagined it. I don't know, but it's worth nothing. So the charity shop might have that donated when I nick out in a bit. There you go. That's my small charity shop haul. I said, I really get if if this was my living, I'd have to really have a rethink about my stock situation because if I'm just if if it was your living and you're getting stock the way I'm getting stock at the moment, I, I think I'm way too picky. I only want the higher end brands, and obviously they're not the higher end brands are not as easy to come across as. Your top shop, your River Island, your Dorothy Perkins, your M&S. Those are all over the shop. So I'll probably have to rethink. Well, I would have to, but at the moment, like I say, it's not my full-time job. This is just something I do as a part-time. So it suits me for now. So that that's it, really. I, but I don't know. Maybe I've just got to, like I say, not be so picky. But there you go. Okay, thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Um, if you are a eBay reseller, good luck with your sales. I hear something, I haven't looked into it. I hear that um, something about the watching or something, the views, there's a problem with the views. To be honest, I haven't even looked. I would say it, because it's not, I suppose if it was my full time living, then I would pay more attention. Like I say, with Amazon at the moment, I'm having real problems with the app. And if this was my full time living, I think I'd be on the phone every 10 minutes to them until they got it sorted. Whereas at the moment, it's been going on nearly two weeks. I phoned them three times, about to phone them again, and they've had about 10 emails and still not sorted. But if that was your full time living, you'd be pretty stressed by now. I know I would be. I'm stressed now, and it's just something I do as a part time, and it's winding me up. But there you go. I am, um, yeah, I think I might make a video about it because. There's got to be other sellers having the same grief as what I'm having. I can't be the only one. There you go. Okay, thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you're a new subscriber, thank you. I'm off now. Have a good day. Bye.